All right, last time we saw this bike, it was kind of looked like it was together, but it really wasn't. Uh, we needed this water pump right here, and then we also gotta finish the wiring harness up, get some oil in it. Hopefully, it starts, runs, and then we go racing. Now, I'm hoping that this is the water pump. So this is actually a Gladius water pump or third gen because we're running a Gladius clutch cover on this bike because we got a Gladius clank, crank, clank, crank in it. And this side of the Gladius crank is actually longer than what a standard first or second gen SV crank would be. And this case cover is different to make room for that extra length on the crank. All right, so what you just saw me do was put a little grease around the gasket and that holds the gasket in place and then nice when you're putting the cover on so it doesn't get out of place and you don't pinch it anywhere so you get a leak or something like that. Now, two other things about this is the Gladius water pump and the third gen SV water pump have a tube that goes down to an, an oil cooler, but we don't have that because this is not that engine um, or this is not a Gladius engine. So we have to plug this and then the crankcase vent also comes out right here on the Gladius in the third gen. Or on the first and second gen, they come out of the rear crankcase in the front cylinder. So this, I have the tube coming up here, and I will put a pod filter on it. And this I will just plug with a little cap. Some kind of electrical problem going on right now. I don't know what it is, but got another harness, gonna pop her in. Hopefully she turns over and fires. Electrical issues are the worst. Um, so I don't feel like doing this right now. I think we're gonna do it tomorrow. It's Friday. I think we gotta get this thing going. So I uh, moved that harness in and out for nothing. It was a bad starter. And once I got another starter in there, charged the battery a little bit, fires right up. a couple things I know people are gonna ask overflow vent for the gas tank stock they have vent lines that come down to the bottom when you oversize it those get cut and they're removed so we have a one-way valve here and I have a second one-way valve here and when the fairings are on these tubes run down the upper and into one of these motion pro overflow and then the second one is from our radiator runs up into the bottom here and then if this happens to get full this tube comes up the fairings and it shoots you in the face so you can't really miss that it's overheating the subframe is from brg racing and pretty damn light really flimsy but it's stupid light 
course, we got our full M4 exhaust. All right, so I'm gonna end this one here. I'm gonna do a video like we did with the Gladius with like some walk around shots and some details of everything that's on the bike, in the motor, on the chassis and everything. Uh, so I did some little details in this one, but we're gonna go to more detail. In another video, I'll link that video below. If you have any questions, ask below. See you in the next video.